Hello, my little feathers. I've just had my third cup of Christmas cocoa and the fireplace is bright and warm. So let's sit back, relax, and uh, talk about some stuff. So this will be my last video of the year, or first, depending on how soon I can finish the video. Side note, I was gonna have fully drawn out PNGs for this video, but ran out of time, so you're gonna get little gremlin savey. But anyway, I thought it might be fun to talk about how far my channel has come and what I plan to do for the future along with answering some questions from the Q&A poll. So, to start off, as you can see in the background, I have on a nice speed paint to maintain y'all's waiting attention span, but specifically, it's a redraw of an old artwork I made right back when I started my YouTube channel. I thought it might be poetic if I redrew this since, very recently, I've been starting to gain a lot more popularity. With my plans for 2024, I can promise you that next year will be my biggest year for my channel yet. I plan to post higher quality animations, post more frequently with speed paints and fursuit videos to fill in the blanks, and my most exciting announcement yet, story time animations! Yep, I'll be hopping on that type of content within the beginning of the new year. I already have the first one in the works. The script is done and being recorded and the storyboards will be the next step. I can give you guys a tiny hint on the topic of the video. Yippee! That's it! No more than that! I can't spoil anything else for the- I can't spoil- no- no more spoilers! <laughs> the last exciting announcement is that, uh, I have an announcement video coming up. Wow, the irony. An announcement about an announcement video in an announcement video. Ugh, try to say that five times fast. An announcement about an announcement video in an announcement video an announce- Yeah, yeah. The announcement video is something big that I've been a part of for the past whole year that I haven't even told you guys yet. I've been meaning to say something about it, but other things kept popping up and it just kept getting piled on by other responsibilities until I completely forgot about it. And at this point, it just deserves its own video where I can talk about my experience of being part of such a thing. And don't worry, all this new content will never take over the main reason why I started this channel. Animation! I'm always working on animations, even when it seems like I'm not. It's just that a lot of time I never finish them and procrastinate until I start like four other animations I also never finish. It's become a bad habit that I've been trying to get better at, but it's going to take some time and a lot of self-discipline. So going on to the fun part of the video, the Q&A. To start off, I want to start answering the Christmas specific questions I got. First up, we have, what is your favorite part about Christmas? Um, Christmas fire, hot cocoa, and roasting s'mores. All things that have to do with heat, because honestly, I hate the winter. I hate cold. I hate snow. Yes, I do hate snow. It's cold. I don't like it. I don't like, I just, I don't like the cold, man. I'd rather be inside, drink some hot cocoa, by the fire. I, I, I love heat, okay? <laughs> with That also kind of uh, ties into... The next question of, what do you hope to get for Christmas? A heater. <laughs> my house is always like, at the, in the low 60s, because my dad likes to live like a polar bear. I, I don't know, I just don't understand why, how people can like the cold. It's, it's cold! Next up we have a, uh, uh, did crepe this come? Uh, no? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? <laughs> Anyway, going into the non-Christmas specific questions, this will include not only questions from the poll, but also just general questions I've been asked a lot. So the first one I want to tackle, I've probably been asked the most, and that is, where did I get my fursuit, slash, who's the maker of my suit? And, uh, it's me. I made it. Thank you for asking. It took me about, like, a whole year to complete it, and it was a lot of work, it was a lot of time, and God, a lot of patience. I had very little running out at that time. <laughs> it's actually not completely done because uh, I still need to add the feathers. Uh, but yeah. Next one is how much money did I spend on it? Uh, I never fully calculated it, but I'd say the estimate was probably around like $500. Uh, <laughs> It was definitely a lot less than if I were to commission someone else to make it. But yeah, very roughly $500. So, uh, the next few questions, uh, some of them aren't really questions, but either way, 
I just like to clear up. No, I am not Tails the Fox from Sonic the Hedgehog. I just... <laughs> How? Do you see... I mean, I guess with the eyes? But like, we're completely different kids. There's, there's so many differences. There's so many differences, man. There's so many... Sonic the Hedgehog was one of my inspirations, but no, we're we're not. I'm I'm not Tails the Fox. <laughs> so the next batch of questions, I have a bunch of people asking me how I made specific parts of my fursuit, or if I have any tips for beginner makers. And to that, I say, I am not a professional. I this is my first time making one, making the first traditional fursuit, I should say, because technically I have made. Uh, smaller, non-specifically traditional fursuits in the past that I might talk about later. But anyway, uh, yeah, I would suggest getting uh, getting tips from people like this, or this, or a couple of these ones. These are all people who I took uh, I took advice from, and I think their videos helped me a lot with figuring out how to do things. But uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, finally, I'm starting to see more art-related questions. How many frames per second do you use? I usually use around like 20, but sometimes I use like 18 or like 23, but you know, roughly around 20. What app do I use? Um, I use Krita for both digital art and animation. When you're working on fursona art, what part of the body do you usually start with? I prefer to start with the snout because it's helped me see where the rest of the face goes. When I was younger, I always learned to do the body first and then the head. Uh, the reasoning for that was so that way the head doesn't end up being uh, so big. But then I really didn't like that tech, that tactic that my art teacher taught me. And I ended up drawing, always doing the head first and then the body next. And it, you know, like my heads were a little bit big. And honestly, I kind of liked that. It was part of my style. So. I always do the head first. I guess it kind of depends on if you're going for more of um, or like realistic art or uh, cartoony art. Because if you're doing cartoony art, I guess do the head first. But if you're going for more realistic art, then um, I guess the body first and then the head. I don't know. Don't take advice from me because I don't really do realistic art. I mean, at least I, I do kind of do some of it. Uh. Lastly, we have more general questions. Uh, what is your favorite animal? Uh, you know, I think I like foxes. <laughs> Hi, do you like Sonic stuff? I'm addicted to Sonic. I like your energy. I like Sonic too. When are you gonna do an age reveal? All I need to know is I'm a minor. Do your parents and friends know really what a furry is? Uh, yeah. I mean, they didn't originally, and we're kind of confused by it, but yeah, they're, they're pretty chill with it now. What inspired you to be a furry? Ooh. Uh, quite a lot of things. <laughs> Have you been to any conventions? If so, how many? Uh, I've sadly only been to, uh, one. It was a, it was a Comic Con, and it was also the place where I saw my first, in real life, fursuiter. And it was super cool, and I gotta go, I got a photo, and it was really awesome. Yeah. What brought you into the furry fandom, and how did you come up with your persona? Uh, part of this question I just previously answered, but how did I come up with my persona? Oh boy, that is a question that I want to make a whole video about on its own. But to summarize it up quickly, uh, the I basically just was like, hey, I was really obsessed with flamingos as a kid, but then I also like really like foxes now, so I'm gonna become a fox flamingo. And she's gone through a lot of changes throughout the years, but that was the basic idea, and I kind of just went with it. But overall, she's basically stayed, stayed the same character, and yeah. What's your favorite furry species? Uh, if we're talking specifically about furry-specific species, then I'd say protogens. I actually do have a protogen persona. I've made a speed paint, and I've made multiple animations that I never finished and never got to post. But yeah, her name is Brookie. And she has a super angsty backstory, of course. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I think I want to make like animation memes, like that I actually finish in the future of her, because I think she's really cool and she has a really good design. And um, I also made a fursuit of her. 
that I never told you guys about. Uh, but this is because it literally broke the day I used it because it was so poorly made. Uh, but yeah, that's why I always say why Sebi is my first traditional fursuit because I've technically made another one. Uh, uh, Brookie is made out of like like her head, the way that her head is sculpted, there's like no foam. It's all like plastic and then fabric. And I, like, I, I had like these like sheets of plastic and then my dad helped me cut them out uh, and then we dyed them. Right, it molded it together and then I dyed it all. But yeah, my dad helped me with that whole process. It was really cool and it was a fun bonding experience. And uh, shout out to all those comments calling me Folly Liz. Woohoo. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> But yeah, uh, it's getting out kind of topic. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I like protogens, and I might make a video sometime about uh, that old fursuit. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, that's all the questions I have. Yippee! And uh, here is the reveal of the uh, here's the reveal of the final artwork. Um, I feel like there is a great difference in my art style, and I think it's changed for the better. You can see the proportions a lot better, and the colors, the, oh my god, the colors are so much better. You can see, you can stand out, she stands out a lot from the background. This video was kind of quick and random, but I hope I answered some of your burning questions. And now you all know, yes, I made my fursuit, and no, I am not Tails! Stop calling me Tails! Hi, I just want to thank you if you made it this far on the video, and just stay for a moment, because look at this. Look at this. I have a fan art reel. A fan art reel. Like, oh my god, you guys are so sweet. I love every single one of these. And if I, if yours uh, didn't appear on this video, uh, let me know. Because there's kind of a lot. And uh, I hope I got everyone. But thank you so much for staying for the video. And thank you for the fan art. And stay foxy little feathers. And I will see you in the next video. Woo!